Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I'll be trying out a peel off chrome mask. If you haven't already, make sure you click subscribe below to stay updated with future videos. The product I'm trying out today is the Bon Vivant Original Chrome Mask Peel Off Type. This mask is hydrating, anti-inflammatory, contains antioxidants, and has firming and brightening benefits. The two special ingredients in this is pearl powder, which helps to gently exfoliate the skin, removing any impurities, and also diamond powder, which helps with skin's elasticity and illuminates the skin. It also contains rice bran extract, which helps to moisturize and improve the skin's texture. Now, I've tried a very similar product to this, like a peel off chrome mask, the Glam Glow one. I tried this about 10 months ago. I wasn't like loving the whole thing. I think I rated it like a six out of 10 from memory. This product has more of a firming benefit, whereas this kind of exfoliates skin, hydrates, and also brighten up the skin. So the ingredients in this are different, but the whole user experience is very similar. Basically, it comes in like a white form first, and when it dries on the skin, it goes into this like silver or chrome look. A big difference between the two is the price. This one is only $22 and this one is $68, which is pretty expensive. So in the box, you just get the product. It doesn't come with a brush or a spatula or anything, but you can get an additional brush. This is like a spatula brush actually, and you can purchase it for $2 on Mimi Box. Now the consistency of this product is pretty gooey. It looks really thick. And like I said before, it's white, but later when it dries on my skin, it will turn into like a brilliant chrome color. Now, I recently just came back from my Bali trip like two days ago, and my skin has been really feeling it this trip. I've gotten all these like red spots, and it always happens when I travel somewhere hot, I don't know why, but I get all these like, almost like sweat pimples or something. They don't go pussy or anything, just like all these red spots kind of appear everywhere, especially after a long flight. And on the trip, I did not pack any like facial exfoliator, so my skin feels really rough, it feels really dry. Oh, it just feels really disgusting. So I'm really hoping this product actually works and does give my skin a quick pick-me-up. I really need it to exfoliate my skin and brighten it and also smooth it out a little bit. So let's see if it works. Gotta pop my ears on. Also, did you guys notice my hair? What do you think of this color? It's kind of like, it's kind of like a peachy blush color or like, I don't know, like a rose gold just to make it fancy. But what do you think? Do you like this color or the purple or the pink? I feel like I keep changing my hair. The, the best thing about having like really like light hair is that it, this color will fade and then I can just put another semi color on top and it doesn't damage the hair or anything. So I've been going crazy with hair colors. So let me just pop this on. I was asking Alfred before if my hair color looks like an orangutan because I don't know why, but it just reminds me of an orangutan. Okay, I got my ears on, let's apply the mask. All I have to do is apply an even layer and then just leave it on for about 20 minutes and I'll see the color changing so they'll know if it's dry or not. And then I just peel it off and yeah, I don't need to really wash my face unless there's little residue left over. So let's go. Wow, this product actually smells really nice. It smells like almost like perfume, shampoo. Just smells really nice. I'll be using this $2 silicone spatula. It's literally a piece of silicone, so it's actually gonna be really easy to wash after. The product just slides off. I would highly recommend you get a spatula instead of using your fingers, cause it's gonna get messy. Okay, let's scoop some of this out. Oh, it's so gooey. Okay. Ooh, it is nice and cold. Yeah, the product itself is quite thick. So I don't think I need to like build up too many layers on this. I'm just going to apply a nice thin layer. And actually, you know how I said it smelled nice before? I think it, the smell is a little bit overpowering. And for some reason, it's kind of stinging my eye, like the fumes. So far, it's pretty easy to apply. Just try to get my hair out of the way. I wonder if this is actually gonna hurt when I peel it. From memory, did the glam glow one hurt? I don't think it really, oh, I don't know. Usually most peel off products, like if I get it in my hairs, yeah, it, will, it hurts. But I don't know, maybe. I don't think this one will hurt. 
Now I've got to be really careful around my brows. I don't want to lose any hairs. And also I have like baby hairs around my hairline too, so gotta be careful. You know what, I really like this spatula. It's actually really easy to apply masks on and it just smooths a nice thin layer for you. So you get the even layer because it's quite flat. I can't remember the last time I tried a peel off mask. I feel like it's been forever. Yeah, it's been a while. It's definitely been a while. Pretty happy with that application. What do you think? Masterpiece. Surprisingly, I didn't need a lot of product to cover my face. I feel like there's heaps of product left in this. If you guys are wondering, this product contains 85 milliliters, whilst the Glam Glow ones contains 50. So this one is cheaper and you get more. This one is more expensive and you get less. So yeah. Whilst I'm waiting for this mask to dry and I can definitely feel it drying already around my mouth, I thought I'd do a giveaway. Now Mimi Box sent me a few extra ones of these. They sent it for free, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with these extra masks. So I thought I'd give it away to you guys. They also sent me three of these spatulas. So I wanna do a giveaway. I'll give away three of these and all you have to do is watch until the end of this video and I'll give you more details. I am back. It's been about 30 minutes because I had to wait a bit longer because I applied a little bit more of a thicker layer on this side. So I felt like it didn't dry enough, so I waited 30 minutes. I want to like show you guys my nose. It looks really weird. Around my nose, it's gone all spotty, and I think that's from like the blackheads and the pores. Around my mouth, it's just like, you can see it's really like dried up now, and it's restricting the movement around my mouth. The colour has also changed from a white to a more silvery chrome colour. And in terms of how it feels on my face, it just feels really tight at the moment. It doesn't sting, there was no like irritation or anything. I didn't feel that uncomfortable. It's just when I speak, it feels restricted. So let's start peeling it. I hope I can peel it all off in one go. Oh. It doesn't really hurt. It's just, okay, maybe it does hurt a little bit if you have a hairy face. It's not as painful as the other ones that I've tried. Oh, I think I can actually get this off in one go, guys. Oh my God. Oh, the concentration. Ow. Ow, it's on my hair. <laughs> oh no. It's on my baby hairs. I didn't realize I had baby hairs there because I dyed my hair and it blended in with my skin tone. <laughs> oh, that hurt. Oh, look, it's still stuck there on my hairs. Okay, rookie mistake, Tina, rookie mistake. It's better now, okay. I think I'm gonna do this in one go. I'm so excited. Oh. Did you see that? It came off in one go. This looks so freaky. Can you see the profile on my face? Oh my God. That's so freaky. Look, that's my nose. Oh gosh. That looks so scary. Why does my face look like an alien? Look at that guys, doesn't that look so freaky? Especially when I turn it to the side, it's like, my nose is like completely in that shape. Oh my God. Especially the nose part, it just blows my mind. <laughs> it's so crazy, I love it. I'm so excited. I just, I just feel so happy and fulfilled at the moment. Here's a close up of the mask. This is the side that was on my skin. You can see all like the lines and pores. I don't think it removed any blackhead because it didn't feel that painful. Actually, maybe a few hairs around here. There are some residue left over on my skin. I think I could just like pick it off or use like a wipe to just remove it. And man, that part around my hairline, that hurt. That was such a rookie move. I didn't realize I had baby hairs there because I've colored it and it almost matches my skin color. So it's a bit of red there. That's okay. I survived to tell the tale. 
So this is what my skin looks like after. I feel like it has brightened up my complexion a little bit, but my red dots are still there, unfortunately. They're just everywhere. Oh, I hope they go away soon. But my skin actually feels really soft. It feels really moisturized. It feels really bouncy and hydrated. I do like it. I still have my blackheads. It's still there. Well, this product doesn't really claim to get rid of blackheads. It just claims to just remove any dead skin cells. It makes your skin look a little bit brighter and more luminous. I don't think my skin looks that luminous. It just feels like it looks a little bit brighter. I'm definitely gonna keep using this product to see if I see better results. It says on the website that you should use it two to three times a week. So I'm gonna continue that and hopefully my skin will look even better. Overall, I do really like this product. I do like it much better than the Glam Glow one, especially because of the price and how much product you get. And because it came off in one go, it's actually really fun to use. I'm just, I'm just looking at it right now and it's just, it just blows my mind. It's so crazy. Anyways, I'm going to rate this product an eight out of 10. I do really like it. At first, I felt like it was a bit fumy around the eyes, but that definitely went away really quickly. And the smell, eventually that kind of went away. I think at first, maybe I'm just super sensitive to smells, but at first, when I first applied it, it seemed a bit overpowering. But as the product dried, I didn't really, it didn't really affect me after. How it felt on my skin, there was no stinging feeling, there was no irritation. It was actually really fine on my skin. It just felt tighter and tighter as it dried up, which is normal for peel off products. I also really love the small silicone mask brush. I really like it because it's super easy to clean. It applies a product on really nicely and it's just like a really flat, flexible silicone brush. Now, are you ready for the giveaway? I should probably take this off. Back to the giveaway, as I mentioned before, I'll be giving three of these chrome peel off masks away and each of them will get the silicone mask brush as well. And all you have to do is subscribe to my new channel. If you didn't know already, or maybe you do know, I started a vlog channel with Alfred. It's called Tina Vlogs It. A lot of you guys voted for that name because it's like Tina tries it, but Tina vlogs it, so it's kind of similar. You get it. Anyways, all you have to do is subscribe to my vlog channel, comment on the latest video, and let me know your name, country of where you're from, and your skin type. I will pick the three winners on Friday the 14th of April, so make sure you subscribe to that channel and comment. I'll also announce the winners in the next Tina Tries It video after that day. So make sure you stay tuned and good luck. Now it's time to vote for what products you want me to try in my next episode of Tina Tries It. I have a few different types of brushes to try. Let me know which one you want to see. I've got these Blend Smart brushes, which are self-rotating brushes, which help to blend out your foundation. There's a couple of different heads it comes with, and it claims to give you better coverage with less makeup used. And the other brushes are these cool foundation brushes. This one is like a painter wave brush. It's got all these like cool grooves on it. I'm not too sure how that's gonna help with applying foundation, but it looks pretty unique. The other brush is called this hanging powder foundation brush. It looks weird and this is what it looks like inside. You just take it out and it's just this round circle brush. It's really dense, so you can use it for powder or foundation. And then you just store it like that and it just hangs on like that. So if you want to see me try those brushes, please vote for them. And yeah, that's pretty much it to this episode of Tina Tries It. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. As always, make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, just click the subscribe button below and I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.